Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Akerzet with BuildBox. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a spinning shooter type game, somewhat reminiscent of the original Asteroids game, but it's gonna be a little bit different. Let me go ahead and press play here, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be making in this video. So we're gonna have a main character who is shooting little bullets, and you're gonna be able to spin the character around and rotate the character around and be able to defeat different enemies. And the object of the game is to try and defeat as many enemies as possible before eventually Actually, one of them runs into you and you are defeated so let's go ahead and see what that looks like see the little spike hits the character and the character is defeated so it's a pretty simplistic game uh, but I want to go ahead and show you how to set up this character who's firing bullets and I'm gonna show you this from scratch from the start so let's go ahead and jump into this so I'm gonna exit out of my preview and let's go ahead and start fresh off with a brand new build box template all right so we have quite a few things here to do right now so this is probably gonna be a multiple parts video but that's okay. So let's go ahead and let's start off by going into our 3D world and let's go ahead and just delete this cube and delete the ground and we're gonna start off straight from scratch with absolutely nothing and then I'll show you how to make this game. So first thing that we need is we need a little base for our character, we need some walls and we need a character. So let's go ahead and let's just make the base and the walls. So I'm gonna to go to my asset library and I'm going to select a cube one cube as the ground and then I'm going to select another cube and that's going to be walls so I'll select my asset library again get out of there I'll name this one walls and I'll make this one ground okay perfect let's go ahead and go back in here okay cool walls and ground so now let's go ahead let's bring out our ground let's keep it centered shrink it down we want it to be pretty flat it doesn't really matter uh, but we want to go ahead and we're gonna go with something flat and thin and then let's go ahead and scale it out we're grabbing our scale tool right there in the middle and we'll scale it out something like this is probably pretty good um, maybe let's go let's go with this let's go right around there or actually you know what I'll do is I'll, I'll extend this out just a little bit more okay perfect so let's scale it out actually to 10 and 10 so that it's nice and even. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we've got our ground there. Let's go ahead and change the color of our ground real fast. So I'll bring the color wheel over and let's go with something kind of like a light purple or something. You know, muted colors are always pretty easy to work with and pretty nice and they look, they look good. Um, next thing, let's go ahead and bring in some walls. We'll go ahead and bring this up a little bit. Let's zoom in here. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit as well. So we're gonna make a wall, something like this. Let's go ahead and drag it over here to the left and we'll sink it into the ground, something like that. And move it over a little bit. Okay, great. You know what I wanna do is I wanna make it so that the wall comes down like this. So you are, when you're looking at it from the side, you're seeing this side of the wall first. So I'm also, I might make it a little bit thicker here. Let's go ahead and extend this out a little bit. Something like that is probably pretty cool. Um, the thing that is gonna be nice is later we're gonna spawn these enemies from inside the wall. So you kind of want the wall a little bit thicker so that you're not gonna be able to see the enemies spawning. So, okay, we got that. Let's go ahead and stretch this out a little bit beyond the corners. Great, just a little bit is perfect. Okay, awesome. Now, let's go ahead and take our move tool here. I'm gonna look downwards at this. I'm gonna hit D on my keyboard to duplicate this wall. And you know what, actually I'm gonna delete that wall. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard. Ah, you know what, I don't like that either. Let's go ahead and look downwards at this, select the wall, W. Okay, perfect. That's the one I want. Perfect. So we got the wall right about there. Let's go ahead and bring it in a little bit and make sure. Okay, cool. So it's a little bit outside, perfect. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna make another copy. Um, actually, I'm gonna delete that one. And let's go ahead and do S, perfect. And then bring it over here. Let's do a rotation around the Y axis of 90 degrees. And we'll bring this down here, something like this. Looks pretty good, pretty close. Let's go ahead and move it out a little bit more because you can see a little bit of a shadow. 
Okay, perfect. That looks pretty gosh darn good. So I'm gonna look downwards at this. I'm gonna hit W, actually, nope. Let's go ahead and hit D. A would have worked as well. W, A, S, or D all make copies of the wall. And so it, you can use any of those and just slide them around. Let's go ahead and Control Z. Let's move the wall over a little bit. Okay, perfect. That looks pretty good. Okay, I think that this might work. The only thing I'm, I'm having a problem with is I think the walls need to be a little bit higher. So I'm going to select all of my walls and I'm going to just scale them up just a little bit, something like that. Okay, perfect. And that's really nice and convenient that you can do multiple select and scale up all the walls all at once. Okay, now let's go ahead, since we've done a little bit of work here, I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my bbdocs folder. We'll call this rotor shooter example. And I'll be giving you guys this BB doc in the description of this video below. So keep an eye out for that and you can download it and use this BB doc if you like. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and let's change the color of the walls a little bit as well. Let's go ahead and I'll do something like a little bit of a darker blue probably is gonna be cool for me. All right, perfect. So we have now, we now have the stage set for our character. So we really, we've gotten a lot of it done here. We just need to create a character first. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna use a cube as a character for this example today. So I'll double click on that. I'll get out of my asset library. I'll bring this up to characters, the characters menu here. And I'll change this to Roto Shooter. Okay, change the name of that. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and bring that character out. Let's go ahead and minimize the character a little bit or scale it down a little bit. I'm gonna do at least 0.5, might make it a little bit smaller. Okay, all right, I see it, I see it working. All right, it looks good. I think uh, that's gonna be all right. Let's go ahead and change the color of this character as well. So I'm gonna select my character on the left. I'm gonna to go to my colors menu over here on the right and then let's select a different character color. So let's do something we can do um, we can do like a pinkish color or something like that. That'll work. I think I did orange in my other example, but let's switch it up. Let's do something a little like a lighter red or lighter pink. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and use that as our character. So now we've created this ground walls and character, but we need to make sure that we're giving the right physics type to these objects. So let's go ahead and go to the ground. Let's make it a physics type of static. So that's perfect. Okay, great. So that means that the character or I mean, that means that the ground is not going to fall downwards, that gravity is not going to affect the ground. Otherwise, if you have it as dynamic, then gravity is going to send the ground downwards. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for the wall. We're going to make those static as well, because we don't really want those moving or anything like that. Um, and you know what, the wall, I actually don't think we need to even have a physics type for the wall because the character is not going to be running into the walls. So I'm going to actually take the physics off. Um, so, but you could also have it a static. Okay. Either way, you, we just don't want them moving is the point. Okay. And then let's go ahead and make this character, this main character dynamic. Okay. So that we have this character, um, falling down onto the ground. So let me go ahead and show you. I'll lift the character up and then let's see what the it's gonna look like on the view. Okay, so we can at least watch the character fall to the ground. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. So we got this character falling to the ground. We're good there. Uh, one thing I don't like though is I don't wanna do this game in portrait mode. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do it in landscape. So I'm going to switch to landscape. I'm gonna go over here to my options menu. I'm going to change to landscape and then I'm gonna press okay. And then you can see what the changes are gonna look like here in your, uh, in your camera view, okay? So you'll want to stretch this out. So if I were to take this um, and uh, probably I wanna zoom out a little bit, something like this, and let's take a quick look at what that looks like. Okay, awesome. So we can see most of, the, most of it here. We're probably a little bit too high. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna keep the camera view on. I'm gonna center it a little bit and I'm gonna angle it down so that we can see more of it, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's take a look at that, what that looks like. All right, that looks good. Okay, <clears throat> next, 
we need to do the spinning, the camera move, okay? And I actually got this node, this uh, node from a forum post. I got it from, let's take a look here at the forum and we'll, I'll show you who actually made this node originally. So this is the official BuildBox forum and you can always find me on here under Zach Grisette if you ever need to message me and you need help with something, I'll do my best to try to help you out. But this is the BuildBox official forum. It's a really, really great resource to learn a lot about BuildBox and is a great community. So I definitely suggest coming on here and checking it out. So under the BuildBox section or under the game design section, there are BB assets and world node designs. So let's go ahead and go into world node designs. And then the one I'm looking for is the free move node with camera follow. And we have LBP2, it's an avid boxer uh, on here who made this node and it was a really, really brilliant stuff. You can see Nick Rodenko really liked it too. Um, I, I love it, I've been using this node. Um, the guy's name is actually Bill. Uh, Bill, I hope that you don't mind me saying that, uh, outing your name. <laughs> but he's a good guy and he's been doing a lot in the community lately and so I can't wait to see what else he comes up with. But you can go ahead and you can download this camera follow and free move node here yourself by just clicking the zip file. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna exit out of the forum and I'm gonna just drop this in real fast into our game. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna just drop this node into here. It's a BB asset, it's got the nodes inside. So what I'll do is I'm gonna just click on this little actor, that's the BB asset here, and I'm going to just copy this camera follow node and this free move node. I'm gonna copy and paste it over to my roto shooter. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, do that real fast, and then we'll do the same thing with the free move. I'll copy that node and paste it into here, and so now I can use both of these. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll get rid of my actor and I'll get rid of the actor here. I no longer need this anymore. I just need those nodes. And then let's see here. Okay, the camera follow is looking good. Let's go ahead and change though the move speed on this to zero because I don't want the character actually moving around. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit Command S on my keyboard and save real fast. And let's go ahead and take a preview of what we've got. So we've got this character and we're able to spin this character around, but the camera is not following right now. So let's go ahead and let's fix that. It's a super easy fix. I'll exit out of my preview. And then I'm gonna go over here to my 3D world. I'm gonna select my camera. I'm going to change the position follow to character. So I'll go ahead and hit preview. And now you can see that the character is spinning and the camera is also moving with the character. So now all we need to do is add some bullets, add some enemies and a little bit more dressing here and dress it up a little bit and clean it up. And then we are good to go. So that's it for part one of this video. Keep an eye out for part two where we wrap up the rest of this game. And I hope you thought this video was useful. As always, keep on boxing.